The human race is capable of incredible things. I mean, have you seen the mansions our tradespeople and architects build? Well, as it turns out, animals are capable of spectacular things as well. You won't find them building mansions for us, but you will see them creating some beautiful things in nature. From ancient termite civilizations to bald eagle nests, here are 15 most amazing homes built by animal architects. Number 15. Beehives and Nests we're gonna kick this off with a fun fact that you may not have known. Beehives are structures that we humans make to house bees so that we can harvest their honey. Bee nests, though, are the natural creations of bees, either inside a beehive or elsewhere. Honeybees create their nests inside hollow trees, caves, and rock cavities. If they live somewhere warm, they might change things up a little and build exposed nests. Whether you've seen a bee's nest on its own or a bee's nest in a human-made hive, you can't help but be impressed by their architectural skills. They use their base material, be it the wood of the hive or the bark of a tree, as their nest entrance. They'll then coat the walls with propolis, which is a hardened plant resin. Over time, honeycombs will be formed on the tops and sides of the walls with small passageways along the edges of the comb. Bees store their honey in the comb's upper parts, while the areas below are used for pollen storage and living quarters for workers and drones. When you see just how intricate these nests are, you probably won't be surprised to learn that they occupy them for several years. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Sociable Weaver Nests We've all seen a bird nest. Typically, a bird of any species will spend quite a while gathering resources, so it has somewhere safe to lay eggs. Though the sociable weaver from the weaver family operates a little bit differently. This bird is endemic to southern Africa and can be found in Namibia, Botswana, and South Africa. Rather than build nests for themselves, they build community nests. This living arrangement is incredibly rare for birds. As you can imagine, when you're building a nest for a community, it's gonna be massive. And they are. They look like giant haystacks in trees and up utility poles, with small holes for the birds to enter and exit from underneath. At first glance, they don't look like anything particularly complicated, but if you start studying their structure, you'll see that the sociable weaver is quite the little architect. This bird will use wooden beams as the structure, then keep it together with twigs and branches. Each of the chambers inside the nest has individual entrances. The inside is lined with feathers and cotton balls for comfort, and it has a certain amount of temperature regulation as well. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed by these avian architects. Number 13. Ancient Termite Civilizations What you'll see from space in northeastern Brazil will blow your mind. There are miles upon miles of strange-looking mounds in a checkerboard shape. You might think they're human-made or even created by strange wind events, but that is far from the truth. Instead, these massive mounds covering an area as large as Great Britain are actually termite mounds. There are around 200 million of them, and they were built around 4,000 years ago. Mind officially blown. Feira da Santana State University's Professor Funch said he doesn't think anyone would have seen a modification of the landscape of such a huge scale built by such small all creatures. The mounds are positioned around 20 meters apart and have been formed from a ceramic-like material. The tiny termites have shifted soil equivalent to 4,000 great pyramids of Giza. They're around 9 meters in diameter and can be as high as 3 meters. What's up top is pretty impressive, but what's below is even more so. Each of the mounds has an intricate network of tunnels underneath. These would have helped them thrive, given that termites are sensitive to the sun and are a delicious form of prey for many animals. Now, though, the civilization sits empty. Number 12. Beaver Nests 
We already know that beavers are incredible animals. We came to that conclusion just by looking at them. Aren't they just adorable? They have chunky little bodies, brown or gray fur, large heads, webbed back feet, and scaly, flat tails. But it's not just their looks that make them impressive, it's their construction skills. <laughs> Put them into a tradesperson course and they'll shine. Beavers build dams in little lodges with rocks, mud, vegetation, and tree branches that they chew down themselves. Because when you're a beaver, you don't have access to a chainsaw. The dam helps with impounding water so they've got a pond to live in, while the lodges become their tiny little houses. They start their house creation journey in late summer to early fall, then spend a bit of time after they're built on repairs. How they prepare their building materials is as incredible as their homes. They can fell a six inch tree in under an hour and a 10 inch tree in around four hours. They bite the trunks at a 45 degree angle, then alternate from side to side. Once it's down, they drag the tree branches to their building site. They also use their four limbs and chins to carry mud and rocks. Number 11, Weaver Ant Nests. You can spot the houses of some animals from a distance. A bird's nest, for example, stands out in a tree, but you'll have a hard time spotting a weaver ant nest, which is a shame because they're really quite impressive. Weaver ants live in trees, and the worker ants gather leaves to weave together with larval silk. Because colonies are massive, with around 500,000 worker ants, there can be hundreds of nests to house them across several trees. And it's very much a team effort. English naturalist Joseph Banks who was part of Captain Cook's 1768 voyage to Australia, wrote about their behaviors in his journal. He said they build a nest the size of a man's head by bending leaves together and gluing them with a whitish, paperish substance, which we now know is larval silk. He also said many thousands of the ants seem to be involved in the process, with some bending the leaf in half while more ants glue it together. What's also so incredible about these ants is that they survey a site before they start building their house, kind of like what we do. They try to bend a leaf to see if it has the right flexibility, then more ants get involved in creating the final product. Number 10, Cliff Swallow Nests. Cliff swallows are social songbirds that live in large colonies primarily along the western North American coast. And by large colonies, we mean that when they nest, there are at least 2,000 of them. There's certainly no concern about their population numbers. But how they build their nests is a lot different from your average, everyday backyard bird. They build nests in the shape of gourds, and they are made from mud. They create hundreds of them tightly together and even on top of each other so that they're easy to spot by most people. Their preferred nesting sites are on mountain cliffs and under bridges, and each nest has a small entrance hole for the occupants to get in and out with ease. Because we've developed so many concrete bridges and highways, we've actually helped them create their nests. They now prefer to build them on concrete, which has expanded their breeding range across the US and Canada. They start the hunt for a new nesting site straight out of wintering. Typically, they alternate between nesting sites to avoid any parasite infestations, although some breeding pairs will use the same nest year after year. Number 9. Trapdoor Spider The trapdoor spider gets its name from its unique house-building style. They build burrows in the ground to live in, but then create a silken hinged door to the entrance of it. When they notice an insect passing by, minding its own business, they quickly open the trap to snap it up. Like me, you're probably wondering how they manage to burrow into the ground. After all, you can't buy spider-sized shovels. Well, trapdoor spiders have a unique row of teeth that they use for digging, as if spiders weren't terrifying enough. These spiders are commonly found in the southwestern parts of the United States, but also in tropical and subtropical regions. They build six inch long tunnels that might be one straight tunnel, or it could have branches. They'll then add their camouflage trap door, which is usually around one inch wide. 
When it comes to choosing something to snack on that happens to pass by their door, they aren't fussy. Trapdoor spiders will dine on grasshoppers, beetles, moths, and crickets. They might be the apex predator of the insect world, but they're also a form of prey themselves. Birds, scorpions, bandicoots, and centipedes aren't afraid of any trapdoors these spiders put in place. Number 8. Bald Eagle Nests We all know how incredible the bald eagle is, but what you probably didn't know is that they are capable of building some incredible nests as well. Their nests are the largest of any North American bird, at up to 10 feet wide and high and 16 inches deep where the eggs are laid. Typically, they nest in partially forested areas and around rivers and lakes with shallow water. They prefer these spaces for drinking, fishing, and shelter to raise their young. As you can probably probably gather from the size of the nests, they are very much a team effort. Both the male and female will carry in the sticks to strengthen its foundation, then fill it with grass-like material in the middle. The insides are made incredibly soft to protect their eggs. Even though they're made to be strong, they can be damaged in high winds and bad weather. If that happens, they have to rebuild their nests from scratch. And time is of the essence, because they only start building between one and three months before the eggs have to be laid. The first nest they build is always the smallest, though as the years go by, they add more and more sticks and nest materials until they become massive. Number 7. Japanese Puffer Fish Crop circles have been a mysterious phenomenon for decades. We've never truly been able to get to the bottom of them, but there is one type of crop circle that we did manage to uncover the truth about, and that was the circles created by puffer fish. In 1995, divers in Japan noticed circular patterns on the sea floor. They kept seeing more and more of them, almost like they were underwater crop circles. For over a decade, no one had any idea what was creating them or why they were there. Finally, in around 2013, we got the answer. A newly discovered species of small puffer fish would create the beautiful and ornate circles to attract mates. Male puffer fish form the circles by flapping their fins along the sea floor as they swim. The sediment becomes disrupted by this movement and the mesmerizing circle patterns are formed. Surprisingly, even though the fish are only 5 inches long, the formations are about 7 feet wide. And here's the kicker. Once they've finished their work of art, female pufferfish come along and inspect their work. If they think the male is quite talented, they will then mate with them. Number 6. Vogelkop Bowerbird out of all nest-building birds, the Vogelkop Bowerbird has perhaps the most beautiful. It's almost like they've taken a leaf out of our book to learn how to be house proud and make a house a home. These medium-sized birds live in Indonesia and grow up to about 35 centimeters long. They're somewhat ordinary looking with olive brown coloring, but what's anything but ordinary looking are their nests. Males create bowers, hence their name, that are cone-shaped huts up to 100 centimeters high and 160 centimeters wide. They use two sticks as columns to form a beautiful entrance entrance and even have a front lawn by clearing the front of their nest and putting moss in place. Just as we put finishing touches on our homes like artwork and hanging planters, the Vogelkamp Bowerbird does the same. They collect colorful flowers, dead leaves, fruit, and the shining beetle Elytra to create an attractive looking home. These birds also replace old items with new ones to try and outdo their neighbors' homes. Once they're finished, females will visit to see which house they like the best before mating with whoever has the best looking house. Number 5. Orb Weaver Spiders Orb weaver spiders come from the Araneidae spider family and are known to build spiral, wheel-shaped webs in fields, forests, and gardens. 
No one generally stops to admire a spider's web, but you'd probably give their webs a second look. Orb-weaving spiders build flat webs with a sticky spiral capture silk. The way they go about it is truly remarkable. They start by floating a line in the wind to attach it to another surface. Once it catches onto something, the spider will secure it in place, then drop another line to create a Y shape. Then the real work begins. These three clawed critters form a spiral of their sticky silk until it's one big death trap for insects. They'll then walk along the non-sticky part of the web, waiting for something delicious to end up in their newly formed web accidentally. Once that happens, orb weaver spiders act fast. They'll deliver a quick bite to their prey before wrapping them in silk. Some species of orb weaver spiders have such strong webs that they can even catch birds and bats. Number 4. Paper Wasps Paper wasps are probably no one's favorite insect. They take up residence around your property, create their own nest, then fiercely defend it. Which is a bit rude if you think about it. Imagine moving into someone else's backyard and threatening the homeowners when they try to come near your tent. But rudeness aside, you can't help but be impressed with the nests they create. They make them out of paper, but not just paper scraps they find laying around. They actually make the paper themselves. Paper wasps chew on the fiber of dead trees and plants and mix it with their saliva. The result is a type of paste that they can shape and turn into walls for their home. Surprisingly, the paper-like material they create is pest-resistant and waterproof. Maybe our paper manufacturers could learn a thing or two from these insects. As you can imagine, given the length of time it takes them to craft such beautiful homes, they are very protective of them. They build them out of the elements, which usually means they use our human-made structures as a form of protection. It often takes a lot of care and safety measures to remove them without being stung. Number 3. Montezuma or a Pendula The Montezuma or a Pendula is a New World tropical ice terrid bird living in the Caribbean coastal lowlands from southeastern Mexico to central Panama. These unique birds have chestnut, black, and yellow coloring along with a bluish cheek patch and pink wattle. But aside from their striking looks, how they nest is even more unique. They live in forest canopies and old plantations, and the females do all the hard work. She will build a hanging nest by weaving together fibers and vines to form a 71-inch long nest in trees up to 30 meters tall. Like many other birds, they create these nests in a colony. It's not uncommon to find an entire tree covered in these hanging nests. There's always one dominant male in these colonies, and he's responsible for mating with most of the females so they can put those nests to good use. The males are also quite protective of those nests. They will fight and fend each other off until one dominant alpha male is left as the winner. However, if he has to go somewhere and do important bird stuff, the other males will come back and defend the ladies until he returns. Number 2. Cathedral Termites it doesn't take a genius to work out why these termites are called cathedral termites. Even though they are snouted harvester termites and sometimes called spinifex termites after the grass in which they are found, these grass-eating termites create such massive mounds that they are almost like cathedrals. And by massive, we really do mean massive. Even a small termite mound can grow to incredible sizes in just days. A woman called Denise Goodfellow took a photo of grasslands in Darwin in 2015. In the picture were no termite mounds. Just a year later, a few mounds had been built around one meter high. In 2018, there were 39, with the tallest reaching heights over four meters. Then, by 2019, one particular mound grew over a meter high in less than a week. According to documentation about these specific mounds in Darwin, they consist of fine sand, clay, and silt on laterite bedrock. Because of how impressive these particular mounds are and the speeds at which these Australian termites build them, they became part of a research project in 2019. Number 1. Red Ovenbird Nests 
Red oven birds are the national bird of Uruguay in Argentina and come from eastern South America. They are commonly found in savannas, scrub, pastures, and agricultural land and are related to the crested hornero. Given their unique looks, they are pretty easy to identify. They have a square tail, curved bill, and reddish-brown plumage with a white throat and brown crown. But if you don't identify them by their looks, you'll surely spot them by the type of nests they build. They create a thick clay nest that looks kind of like an ancient clay oven, and they place it in a tree. Sometimes, you also find them in telephone poles, fence posts, buildings, and other human-made structures. Pairs of red oven birds, which mate long-term or for life, work hard throughout the year to build their nest. While they can make them in around five days, they typically spend months fine-tuning them. Two or four eggs are laid before they're incubated for around two weeks. Sometimes, red oven birds reuse their nests, or they can find an old nest and repair it for use. I won't be in a hurry to hire a termite to build a home for me, but it's incredible when you think about some animals' skill levels when creating their own homes. Makes you wonder whether they've honed their skills over time or just know how to build. Have you seen any of these animal architects in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!